Really? Recently uh, did a show on the OWN Network. That was so cool. It's called All the Single Ladies. It was an all-black female cast, all-black female crew. It was on an all-black female network. It was so dope. One thing I noticed that we had in common was all these women knew what kind of man they wanted. I'm sure the ladies in here can vouch that we know what we want. We have this list, at least the first time around. <laughs> we be, from this high to up here, we be like, I know what I want. He's got to have this kind of car. He's got to have this kind of mom, this kind of dad, this kind of bank account. We know that. But let me tell you, ladies, fuck your list, okay? <laughs> when you're into somebody, don't none of that shit matter. We be overlooking the dumbest stuff. Like, men, do y'all do that? Do y'all have lists? Y'all do that? They're like, no, but if she got a coochie, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I think I have a coochie right here in this band, right here. And I'm like, that's kind of sexy. I don't care. <laughs> but the truth is, I didn't even know my husband could read, and I married him. Like, <laughs> I mean, he can read, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> I took him to a game night. Y'all know how this go. And they separated the room into two teams. We were playing a game called Catchphrase. Anybody ever heard of Catchphrase? You feel me? It's just like charades. A clue pops up on the disc. Get your team to guess the clue. Team with the most points win. Easy enough. Young me, I met him at 19. Okay, here we go. Walking into the, <clears throat> excuse me, walking into the party. We ended up on the same team. Now, ladies know what that means. Men, maybe not. But I looked at him, I was like, oh my gosh, look at the universe working for us. <laughs> we think a lot. <laughs> we gonna get all these answers right. They gonna be mad at us. Healing then, right? He was on my same page. He was like, you want me to go first? I was like, yeah, because you a leader. <laughs> That's my man. He grabbed the disc. He hits the button. My team was ready. We was going like this. He did like this. <laughs> I brought the nigga that froze to the party. Him. I was like, say something, say something. He was like, it's nasty. <laughs> My team started guessing. They was ready to play, ready to win. Vomit, sewage. I was like, say something else. You know how you whispering, but you're not whispering, and people can hear you, but you still got the whispers on? He was like, it's real nasty. <laughs> and the timer went off. We didn't get no points that round. My friends, they're good friends. They was trying to encourage both of us. They was like, oh my gosh, you did so good. That was so good. <laughs> what was it? What was it? He was like, it was coochie. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I just gave you some coochie in the world. <laughs> you didn't use the word nasty to describe it not once. How was I supposed to guess that? <laughs> <laughs> then I thought about it. Which Toys R Us, God rest their soul, is coming this is supposed to be a PG game. I snatched the disc out of his hand and I read it. <clears throat> the disc said Q U I C H E. <laughs> if you ain't laughing, you can't read. It's okay. There's somebody out there for you. And I said, Dog, you thought Keish was coochie? <laughs> No, 
it was not a teen pregnancy. Some black women get married first, okay? Don't be stereotyping us out here. The point is, thank you, okay? Point is, when you have kids, now you gotta be a mom. When you become a mom, you become crazy. Y'all gonna say something different, no. I told my kids, listen, come talk to me. Teenage suicide is real. You need somebody that's gonna tell you the truth. I don't want you all depressed about nothing. I'm smarter than all your little friends, okay? That's all these kids want. Now that ain't no joke, that's just the real deal. Tell them the truth, y'all, don't be lying. Don't be scared of these kids. My daughter tried me at it. She said, Mom, the guys are gone. I'm 10 now, I've been thinking about things. I wanna talk to you. I'm like, bitch said she 10, like she grown and stuff, but you're 10. <laughs> but okay, I'm ready, cause I did tell her that. She said, Mom, um, do you suck ass dick? <laughs> See, y'all ain't gonna be, y'all ain't gonna be shit. Try to keep a poker face as a parent. Don't do like, they ain't gonna be comfortable talking to y'all at all. Inner me was like, lie, lie to her. She cannot know who be sucking dick. Outer me was like, okay, you got this. Listen here, baby girl. It's not called a dick, it's called a penis. And yes, yes, I suck ass dick. <laughs> I was scared. I was scared. Truth is, I was scared. <laughs> when you tell a kid the truth, they're going to ask you more questions. So just be ready. She sat up there and she said, Mom, do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> so inner me again was like, damn, I got a nosy ass fucking daughter. Like, my goddamn business. Outer me was like, okay, you can do this. Listen here, baby girl. You know how I make you broccoli. Broccoli is not your favorite. But you know, you sit at the table, and when you sit there and you eat that broccoli and you're obedient to me, that means you did what I asked you to do. When you're obedient, there's nothing I won't do for you. I'll buy you the shoes you want. I'll let you go play with your friends. I won't make you get off the phone early. I'll let you live your life however you want, just because you were obedient to me. That's how it is when I saw Dad's dick. <laughs> 